now. Hi everybody. How are you today? Do you remember my name? My name is T O M M Y Tommy. Today I am talking about we are going to talk about an old man. He is a genius. Do you know who he is? He is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. So now, are you ready? Let's get started. Have you ever wanted to know answer to things? The sentence like, have you ever wanted to know how to answer things, means that, have you ever wanted to know how to answer questions? Have you ever wanted to know how to do that? Some people do. I do too. But my mom doesn't. For example, how does it work? How does how does it work? Why does it work? What makes it work? Albert Einstein made this curiously. He just wanted to know. He was born in Germany. He was born in Germany. And Albert did not like to talk. Uh, he just wanted to think. He loved to build houses with cards. He did. He. It took him a long time because the cards had to be just right. He also had had to do it very slowly because because. The cars had to be rectangular and very fat. They had to be able to stand like a house wall. Sometimes I use books to build houses. My books are right there. Sometimes I use books to build houses. And he liked it. He is very good at it. He um, he discovered many things when when he was a child. The teach his teacher taught him um, how does it work and when does it work. He didn't understand, but he discovered that what makes it work. Because he is a genius. A rain, right? A rain is dark, dark pink, right? But Al Albert Einstein's rain is smaller. And because he knows many things when he was a child. So that's why he is a genius. He worked on making a bomb in Germany. He worked on making a bomb on Germany. This is a tank bomb, but this is just a normal bomb. Did you know how did he make the bomb? He used matches. Just like a, he made the matches into one, the bottom part of the bomb, and then he made the other part with a then with a lid on top. Then he then he used the the sword or the knife to cut a circle in in the top of the bomb on the top of the bomb. Then he puts um, some something that looks like metal bars inside. He lit the top and then it turns into a bomb. It will explode. The bomb 
he invented the bomb to help construction workers when he was small. Do you know how did he help construction workers by making the bomb? Did you, do you know why? He made the bomb, right? Sometimes construction workers want to make roads across, but they wanted to make roads or bridges, but there is a mountain. So they will put the, put the bomb beside the mountain, lit it up and run as fast as they could away from the mountain. The mountain will explode by the bomb. Then they can build the road. In 1908, he moved to America. He wrote to the president. He said that we have to make the bomb first. The president listened. Now we, we learned about the things or science that Albert learned when he was a child. So now I will talk about more about Albert Einstein. I have a book about Albert Einstein, right? I have a book about Albert Einstein, but I do not know where it is. Maybe um, when um, when when I have free time, maybe I will take a picture of I will find the book and then I will take the picture of the book and show it to you. I want to ask you a question. Do, do you allow me to ask you a question? Do you know what question would I ask? What kind of bomb is this? I just told you when we start the lesson. Tang, 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 a tang bomb. It is the bomb that floats in the sky that can destroy a city within 40 days. Within 40 days, it looks like in the ancient stories of Noah Ark. Also, it's also in the ancient stories of a monster. What monster is it? You know, I heard it on my Doraemon books, Mafuga. So now let's start talking about more. Did you know who, who Albert Einstein married and how many boys and how many girls do they have? He married his cousin. And his cousin. And they had two boys. Two boys, zero girls. They had a big garden when Albert Einstein uh, was just a man, not an old man, only an ordinary man. He was a billionaire. He didn't need to go to work. He worked just a little at home, but, some, but he had more free time. He had everything he needed too. He had 70 servants, 70 servants, a garden with goats to give them milk, chickens and geese to give them, to give them white eggs, and 70 servants to serve them, and two cooks, one two kitchens, two bathrooms, two bathrooms, one bedroom, and one living room. One big living room. 
Did you know why? He lived in an apartment. He was a millionaire and he lived in an apartment. So now, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe me more at Study English with Tommy. T-O-M-M-Y, Tommy. So see ya.